I spoke to Reggie Miller yesterday. <laughs> he said that you all texted. I he spoke got, to Reggie Miller yeah, yesterday, <laughs> and I, I was. <laughs> Take me into that conversation. Oh my God. For context, of course, Reggie Miller went on a show and gave his thoughts on what he thought about Josh Hart going over and telling him about the F.U. chance in the garden. I, Reggie said maybe he shouldn't have done that, and that was a turning point. Josh, was, that was not the turning point. I'll say that. Josh shouldn't have done it, though. Josh is an idiot. Josh Hart, <laughs> you're an idiot. I say that with the utmost confidence. Um, yeah, he definitely shouldn't have done it, but I don't think that was a turning point. Okay. Don't think that's a turning point. Um, damn, now we're going to get into that. I would say the, the conversation me and Reggie had, I just said, yo, I didn't let Josh tweet. I said, Josh, don't tweet. Let me, let me, if I want to, I'm trying to get him on the show. Just don't say anything. Yeah. Um, as so I talked to him, I said, hey, we would love to have you on the show. Like, I feel like it would be great. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. We, we, we like, we control it. We, we got you. And yeah. he's like, I'll say I think we can get him on the show. I don't want to spoil anything, but I think we can get him. Okay. I think we can get him. Without, without spoiling, because I've I spoken to him as well about <laughs> it. Your initial reaction to that, do you understand where he was coming from, or you have a completely opposite do I understand take what, on it? Reggie. When he, what he said on Mark's uh, yeah. stuff. Um, I understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. Here are my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Reggie said, hey, like, Josh should not have gone over there and said that to him, 100%. Mm -hmm. Reggie said, hey, like, why am I bringing, being brought into this? Like, like I'm, it's, I'm just coming here to do my job. You came in to do your job. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. But, Reggie, you, you started the chirping. Mm -hmm. Reggie did start the chirping. He said, the boogeyman, he said this. He said, the boogeyman's coming back to New York. He said that. He did. He said, why, why would I be scared to come back in New York? He shouldn't be scared to come back to New York. But he's like, he's saying, like, why would I be? Yeah. I own this so place. I own this place. I'm like, Red, so like, while you were coming there to do your job and didn't want to be brought into it, you said some things that brought it into it. People probably wouldn't have said anything if you just came there and like just did it. Yeah. So that's my thought on it. Mm-hmm. But see, this is like, that's the really fun, cool aspect of having a podcast. Yeah. Because when you all have this conversation, that's a really compelling conversation. Yeah. Like about the why and also what the etiquette maybe would be for, you know, somebody who's in the thick of a playoff series going over there to talk to Reggie Miller. When's, like, the, last, when's the last player to ever walk over there? I, I can't give you an answer. I can't give an answer. And Josh, you know you, my guy. I, however, cannot give you an answer to that. But in the moment, did it feel like he shouldn't have done it? Or did it feel fun? I didn't know he did it. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, one, like, no one was like looking at Josh. Like, I only saw it after the fact. Like, yeah. no, like, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I'm, I'm not worried about who was commenting the game. I'm worried about the game. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's the end of the game. But, like, I don't know, man. Josh is. <laughs> Josh is Josh.